and don't run around. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. How should we perform first aid for forearm bleeding? Let's review. 1. Apply pressure to stop bleeding. 2. Ask a doctor for cleaning up the wound and disinfection. 3. Wrap the wound. First aid for bruise. 1. Clean the wound with saline solution. Disinfect with iodophore. When the earthquake struck, I fell down the stairs and can't move now. Don't move. I'll get medical help. We are professional doctors. You can leave the injured to us. For someone with spinal injuries, improper move or handling of the injured can be very dangerous and may exacerbate spinal injury. You must ask professional medical staff for help. First, transfer the injured to a long ridge board by using the whole body turnover method. Drag the fixing strap to secure the injured. We'll send you to a nearby hospital for treatment. Okay, thank you. How should we perform first aid for spinal injury? Let's review. 1. Do not touch the injured. Ask doctors for help. 2. Elevate the injured by the whole body turnover. When the earthquake struck, I got hit in the head and the hands by a flower pot. It hurts. It's dangerous here. Let's go to an open and safe area and I will perform first aid on you. For head injury, apply pressure with a dressing to stop bleeding. Fold the bandage or triangle towel. Drag the bandage or triangle towel around the head to fix the dressing. A bone that pierces through the skin indicates an open fracture. A bone that does not pierce through the skin indicates a closed fracture. The injured suffer from a closed fracture of his hand. For an open fracture, bandage it as a closed fracture before fixing the fracture. First, protect the arm with a soft cloth. Then, choose a magazine, a branch, or a plank as the splint. And finally, secure the arm with a bandage. Be careful not to wrap it too tightly. You need to go to the nearby hospital for further treatment. Thank you very much, Kiki. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 
How should we perform first aid for head injury? Let's review. 1. Apply pressure to stop bleeding. 2. Wrap the wound with a triangle towel. First aid for closed fracture. 1. Fill with soft cloth. 2. Secure with a splint. 3. Wrap with a bandage. 4. Suspend with a triangle towel. Let's search for the injured in need of help. Oh no! He seems to have gotten an electric shock! Let's get professional staff for help right away! When a power line falls on the ground near you, it creates a step voltage. You need to hop on one foot immediately and stay away from where the power line falls, so you won't get an electric shock. The firefighter boots are made of special rubber that can stop the flow of electricity and offer protection against electrical shock. Do you know what tools can be used to pick the power line? You are right! Dry wooden sticks can stop the flow of electricity. The on-site environment is safe. I have received professional first aid training. We can start the rescue now. What's the matter? What's the matter? Someone, help me! Please help me call the emergency number and get an automated external defibrillator, AED. Okay! If the chest doesn't rise for 5 to 10 seconds, it indicates that the injured has the cardiac arrest without breath. Start cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR immediately. First, unbutton the shirts of the injured. <laughs> 